Nice sweep of a doubleheader against UMBC in this three-game series for the baseball team. Four to nothing in game one, nine three in game number two. Uh, the senior catcher and James Alfonso, a great day. A uh, total of four of eight. You hit your first career home run here, which uh, I still can't believe. Uh, you get four RBIs, and I was kind of making a joke about the fact that your teammate Lukacs leapfrogged you for the team lead in RBIs, and then in game number two, you're like, not so fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was you know pretty good day for the hitters. Uh, really all around you know Sean pitched really well in the first game and Bry had a few little bumps here and there but you know he threw really well settled in and uh, hitters did a great job you know I, we had 25 plus hits today I think and uh, really swung the bats well definitely gonna take that into tomorrow let's go back to game number one where uh, Newcomb gets the complete game it's his first of the season and you know the scouts are here to see him does behind the scenes did he give you does he give you a lot of credit uh, for kind of calling the games because it seems like every time that he comes out here at Fiendelli he pitches well yeah, well, actually, Coach Slew, actually, he calls the games, and he does a great job. Um, but, you know, Sean's used to the guys back there, so he's just kind of taking it like a normal day. But, you know, Coach Slew does a great job. Yeah, he's done a great job all year calling pitches for him. Here in game number one, you guys snap a three-game skid. How important is this to make sure that you guys get a series win here against UMC and maybe go for the sweep tomorrow? Yeah, it was huge. You know, we didn't play that great last weekend against Binghamton. Uh, we only took one out of three. So to take two today, win the series, and take it into tomorrow and get a sweep, that would be big for us right now. All right, I know you said you didn't need the ball, but if you go get it, trust me, in 10 years, you'll look back on it and be like, I'm glad that I got it. All right, yeah, we'll see. We'll bring in uh, Justin Blood. Let's go back to what I just said to him. You guys come in kind of limping, three-game skid. So did UMBC and uh, trying to get back on track and win series. So right now you're in line to win the series against UMBC, but you have a chance to sweep coming off that uh, loss at Binghamton last weekend. The Binghamton series was uh, was a weird one. You know, yeah. last when we played them here, it was a one nothing game us in the first one, one nothing game them in the second one, and then we go uh, what nine to two, and then they go thirteen to three. So it's just one of those crazy days. You know. I don't think we'll play them very many times where there's scores like that. So then Sunday was was more typical of what we see against them. We couldn't hold a lead, and then uh, same thing against Northeastern. So really, what what hadn't happened for a few weeks where we gave up late leads happened on Sunday, happened on Tuesday, and so it was good to see that today we didn't, you know, we didn't falter towards the stretch. The hitters have, have been steadily improving, so hopefully we can continue that trend. The offense definitely picked you up. Uh, you're a pitching guy. Your starting pitchers both go complete games, so you got to be happy that the bullpen gets a day off. Yeah, no, we're definitely happy, and uh, we've got a few guys who probably could use a day off in the bullpen. So it was great to see Sean and, and Brian both pitch well and, and go complete games and not have to throw a ton of pitches to do so. So it was very good. All right, I'd ask Coach Malinowski on the pregame. I'll ask you because uh, we had to interview Coach Mal, but uh, you guys now currently with the two games here are currently tied with Stony Brook for uh, top of the league in the America East, and you guys have kind of gone back and forth between the hunted and the hunty, and Pete Lawrence on the lacrosse team likes to talk about that. They're the ninth-year head coach. So which would you rather be, the hunty or the hunted? I, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I, I think it's uh, for this program right now, it's a it's a really big deal to be relevant in that picture. And uh, you know, I think we need to understand that first and foremost, that, you know, it'll be the first year in history where we have a chance. We have a chance to lock a playoff spot in tomorrow for yeah. the first time ever. You know, and that for me is is what our main goal is. Make sure that we have a spot in the tournament. And then from there, obviously, we'll, we would love to win the regular season. And something tells me it'll come down to that last weekend against Stony Brook at their place. Mm -hmm. um, and whether we're behind them or they're behind us, it won't matter. They're going to be three really tough games and playoff type games. And, and uh, you know, hopefully they'll prepare us for for the tournament and if we can lock that up which I hope we will talk about that tomorrow. All right well tomorrow we'll start things early 11 45 a.m. Six seniors will be honored prior to the game we'll have that for you on Hartford All Access as well as a pregame conversation with this guy. Stay tuned to HartfordHawks.com for all the latest.